Hello, so this video is Don't Underestimate the Stress of Student Loan Debt. Higher education can open up a wealth of opportunities. A college degree can make it easier to secure a high paying job and pave the way towards further education, such as graduate school, a necessary step in becoming a therapist or other healthcare professional. But the potential rewards of a four-year university degree come at a cost, often a staggering one. College tuition costs have vastly increased over the past few decades. According to statistics from the College Board, a college student in the late 1980s could expect to pay just over $3,000 for a four years of tuition at a public university. But today, four years of tuition at a public university costs around $10,000. Note this figure only includes tuition, not books, board, and other necessary expenses, which may double or even triple your projected expenses. Private universities, of course, cost far more, and these numbers rise each, every year, faster than inflation. This means wage increases don't account for the higher cost of college, and many students are left with more debt than they can easily or realistically pay off. The student loan debt can certainly impact your financial future, but it can take a toll on your emotional well-being too. All right, so student loan statistics. While many students seek grants and apply for scholarships to attend college, not everyone qualifies for grants or can afford to spend time chasing down multiple scholarships. What's more, plenty of hopeful students find that the cost of college is still prohibitive even with these other types of aid. So, lacking the funds to pay for an education, they will turn to loans to finance their college years, often without realizing the full cost of these loans. According to the statistics from Pew Research Center, almost half of American adults, 30 and younger, with a bachelor's degree or higher have outstanding student loan debt. But even people who don't complete their education still have to pay back their loans. Among adults under the age of 30, 34% have student loan debt, whether they have a degree to show for it or not. Among adults aged 30 to 44, 22% still have outstanding loan debt. The average, um, the amount of debt varies widely, especially depending on the type of degree pursued. According to a 2016 survey results, a median figure of amount owed among all borrow borrowers was 17,000, among borrowers holding a bachelor's degree, this figure rose to 25,000. While borrowers with a postgraduate degree reported a median debt of 45,000. About 7% of borrowers, which is about 1% of all American adults, reported owing more than 100,000. Higher debt appears most common among people holding postgraduate degrees. This survey also found that almost a third of American adults between the ages of 25 and 40 believe the benefits of their college degree are not worth the lifetime expense of paying it off. How debt affects current students. A better understanding of debt's heavy impact can provide clarity on just why so many students believe the value of their degree doesn't measure up to the cost. Not everyone worries about loans coming due while still attending college. More often, these approaching payments seem like a distant concern, one dwarfed by the immediate reality of exams, group projects, and part-time jobs. Many students also don't fully comprehend the total amount of the monthly payments they'll eventually need to make, or the number of years required to completely pay off their loans. Students with greater awareness of the looming burden of debt may feel intense pressure to study as much as possible and earn good grades. They may hope doing well and graduating with honors will help them find a good job right away and stay on top of loan payments. While this goal may have merit, it can nonetheless leave them with little time for self-care, rest, and forming relationships and friendships. Some students may even burn themselves out with volunteer work or participation in activities they hope will appeal to potential employers. Many students may prefer to avoid thinking about the debt they'll face, 
but avoidance doesn't always help, and it might eventually come out in the form of anxiety and other distress. It's also fairly common for students under pressure to neglect their health. Students who have to work while attending college often have less time for restful sleep. Busy students may end up snacking or choosing fat, um, fast food or convenience store meals because they don't have time to prepare more nutritious balanced meals. Spending the majority of their time studying and working leaves students with little time for physical activity, socializing or relaxation. Important factors in physical and emotional wellness. These challenges can trigger even more serious concerns. Students under a lot of pressure, especially those who already struggle to adequately meet their physical and emotional needs, may have a higher risk of depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions. How student loan debt can decrease quality of life. The significance of the debt burden tends to hit for many borrowers once they've graduated from college and made it through the six month grace period. Some students manage to secure a good job, perhaps one that pays well and other benefits like health insurance. This can help relieve some debt related anxieties. In the best case scenario, someone finds a position in their ideal field, earns promotions, and eventually sees their salary increase over time. The ability to make monthly student loan payments and still have enough money left to, to live a comfortable life is ideal, but it's not a common scenario. Research from the Center of, for Global Higher Education suggests student loan debt can have a negative impact on life after graduation in the following ways. Student loan debt can limit career choices by making it necessary to accept any available job in order to make loan payments. This can decrease workplace satisfaction, which can contribute to depression over time. Debt, particularly higher amounts of debt, can lead many women to delay getting married, having children, or both. Many people with student loan debt also delay buying homes. They may also have little or no savings and also lack, of, lack money for retirement. Not only does student loan debt make it harder to take care of daily financial needs like rent, groceries, and clothing, it can make it almost impossible to budget for extra needs like medical expenses, car trouble, and so on. For some people, unnecessary expenses, vacations, trips to visit family members, or the occasional dinner out might be completely out of the question. Worries over debt often present, present physically like symptoms like loss of sleep, muscle, and head pain, or gastrointestinal distress. Overall, people with student loan debt report higher levels of anxiety and financial distress. According to a 2013 article published in the American Psychologically, Psychological Association Grand Psych Magazine, Grad Psych Magazine, the article cites research that suggests people having trouble paying off student loans have almost twice the risk for mental health concerns, including anxiety and depression. Complicating the issue is the fact that many people avoid talking about debt and other financial worries due to stigma or fear of stigma. People with high levels of student debt may feel anxious about pursuing relationships due to concerns about their financial, their future financial situation or worries about what their future partners may say about their debt. Student loans and suicide. It's not uncommon for people with a lot of student loan debt to have a hard time talking about their financial worries. Many people simply struggle to open up about financial issues in general, but others might associate debt with a sense of failure or shame. This can make it difficult for to reach out to professional supports from for therapists or financial counselors. Avoidance of the problem doesn't lead to improvement. It often makes the problem worse. Borrowers struggling to pay off student loan debt may come to believe they'll never get ahead and feel hopeless about their financial future. For many, a bleak financial outlook translates to a bleak outlook overall. Student Loan Planner, a financial coaching website, surveyed 829 members of their mailing list in 2019. According to the results, one out of every 15 people paying off student loan debt had considered suicide as a result of their debt. 
The result also suggested student loan debt pay, plays some part in around 9% of deaths among young professionals who die by suicide. The survey also found evidence to, to suggest borrowers with high levels of debt are more likely to consider suicide. Just over 11% of borrowers who owe between 80,000 and 150,000 report, com, com, uh, report contemplating suicide. A final finding, nearly 6% of those who replied to the survey knew someone whose student loan debt factored into their death by suicide. Student loan debt is a serious concern among American adults. If you're feeling overwhelmed or distressed by your debt, consider reaching out to a therapist for support. A therapist can't help you resolve your debt, but they can offer compassion without judgment and help you address related mental health symptoms, enabling you to feel more capable of tackling debt in a productive way.